Hi and welcome. This is going to be the first review of the first test found in the official SAT guidebook. So please take your books out and turn to page two, 390, which is going to be section 2, the first reading comprehension section of the SAT. So, if you've turned to page 390, we'll see that the first question is, of course, a sentence completion question. And it's number one, says, Alexander Solzhenitsyn's blank proved keenest when he accurately predicted that his books would someday appear in his native Russia, right? So, we have these words, foresight, nostalgia, folly, despair, and artistry. So, let's look at what these words mean, first of all. So we have foresight, which means prediction, to see into the future. Nostalgia, longing for the past. Folly, which is error. Despair, which is misery. And artistry, just artistic ability, right? So if we go back to the question, we see that we're looking for some quality of Alexander Solzhenitsyn. And what is this quality? This quality proved keenest, it proved sharpest when he accurately predicted. Predicted is going to be the key word here, right? That is his ability, his ability to predict something. So obviously if we look back at those words really quickly, we see that foresight means prediction. So the best answer choice here is going to be A, foresight, right? Good. Let's move on to question number two. The simple and direct images in Dorothea Lange's photographs provide blank reflection of a bygone social milieu. This one's a little bit of a harder sentence, right? Uh, it has some kind of good SAT words in here. First of all, bygone means in the past. This is the past. Whereas milieu means surroundings or environment. Right? So if we look at the sentence now, what we're looking for is this. The simple and direct images in Dorothea Lang, uh, Lange's photographs provide some sort of reflection of the past social surroundings in which she was in. Right? So then we have intricate, a candid, an ostentatious, a fictional, and a convoluted. So let's look at what these words can mean. Intricate meaning complex, candid meaning direct or honest, Ostentatious, meaning showy, flashy. Fictional, an imaginary thing, event, or story. And convoluted, twisted or winding. So if we look back at the sentence, we see that it's the simple and direct images which provide some sort of reflection, right? So that means that the quality of the reflection in which these photographs show is going to be simple and direct, right? Because they are simple and direct images. So looking back at the definitions of the word that we have, which word here has the qualities of being simple and direct? It's going to be candid, right? Because although candid can mean honest, it also means direct, straightforward, right? Not hiding anything. So that's where the best answer here is going to be B, candid. Moving on to question number three. So here we have Kate's impulsive nature and sudden whims led her, to la led her friends to label her as blank, right? So let's look at the words that we have. Capricious, bombastic, loquacious, dispassionate, and decorous. All of these are very good SAT words, so you should try to memorize all of these. So let's look at what they mean. Capricious, which is whimsical, quickly changing. Uh, bombastic, pretentious or grandiose. Loquacious, which is talkative. Uh, dispassionate, which is not passionate or disinterested. Decorous, this one's a tricky word. It doesn't mean decorated. It means marked by propriety, polite or good mannered, right? It comes from the word decorum, which also just means politeness. Good, so let's look back at the sentence. So here we see that her nature, the qualities of Kate, is that she is, has sudden whims and you know, she is imp 